the Royal Canadian Mint has made sure that that night will always be remembered. NTV's David Salter reports. This is just a, a, rough, a rough sketch off the, uh, the object. Decades-old video of a much younger Constable Jim Blackwood about to describe what he saw in the skies over Clarenville in October 1978. An oval object with flashing multicolored lights hovering above the water. The man asking the questions was NTV's Jeff Sterling. I could see the other light flashing and then it turned back onto me again from the... the, the just uh, slowly turning. Just slowly, yes. It wasn't a quick movement. And then it made quick movements up and down and then back and forth this way. And uh, always returning to the same position where it was before. Blackwood, a straight up cop working a shift and now changed forever. Like you say, Mr. Sterling, I still can't say what it was. Uh, what kind of a vehicle or that it was or, or whatever kind of an aircraft. But uh, it certainly changed my outlook on the uh, situation. I, I always uh, have been a non-believer in these things before, but it really changed my opinion after seeing this thing. A lot of time has gone past. Blackwood is retired in Nova Scotia, but still thinks about that night so long ago. And now he's getting some help from the Royal Canadian Mint which has struck a coin commemorating that bizarre evening. The coin glows in the dark with a depiction of that mysterious craft. Even this old ex-Mountie is impressed. Well, they, when you get the, the, uh, the, the coin itself, there's a little uh, pamphlet that comes with it, and it gives the story about the Clarenville sighting and, and about me, and <clears throat> so that's going to live on for, you know, after I'm gone, so... Full disclosure, I was a kid in Clarenville that night. My dad was an RCMP officer who was serving with Blackwood. He was off that night. Blackwood jokes, sometimes he wishes he was as well. <laughs> you know what, Dave, be honest with you. Uh, I, I said in an interview with uh, DOCM the other day, I said, I wish I was uh, earlier getting home than a, and, let the, and let the guy who was on call take the phone call. <laughs> and then I would have been out of it. David Salter, NTV News. Still ahead tonight.